Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how I built a smart voice assistant using Wappy, a powerful platform that allows anyone to create human-like voice AI agents without deep coding. First, I will explain what Wappy is and how it works. Then, we will create our agent and we will see a live demo of talking to my custom agent which answers queries about analytics with their courses. Let's dive in. So, Wappy is a visionary voice AI platform designed for developers, businesses and enthusiasts who want to create intelligent voice agents quickly and easily. It is similar to building a chatbot but for voice. Think of talking to a real person over the phone but powered by AI. You can build agents that answer questions, automate support calls, schedule appointments or even drive lead generation. Wappy's core strength lies in its no-code workflow builder, robust integrations and support for multiple languages, over 100 in total. It connects seamlessly with AI engines like ChatGPT and you can customize everything from the voice tone to conversation flow. Now you know about Wappy. Let's talk about its features and capabilities. Number 1. Multi-language support. Wappy works across languages breaking language barrier in global businesses. Number two, custom workflows. You can create complex conversation flows like what happens when a user asks about courses or requests support. Number three, real-time analytics. It keeps tracks of how your agent performs, see user's engagement and optimize on the fly. Number four, voice customization. Choose natural voices or create your own to give your agent a unique personality. Number five, integration ready. Plug it into your existing systems, CRMs, databases, APIs and telephony services. Now, let me show you how I built my own agent for answering questions about analytics with their courses. Here's how I did it, step by step. First, open your browser and search for wappy.ai. Then, sign up and open your dashboard. Now, on the dashboard, you can see multiple options on the left and you need to click on assistant to build your own voice assistant. Now here you will find Riley, a pre-built voice agent which you can use as a reference for configuring your own voice agent. You can find every configuration here from system prompts, first message, voice, transcriber, tools, etc. Now to create your own assistant, you need to click on create assistant. Here it will ask you to write the name of the assistant and here you will find different quick start templates like customer support specialist, lead qualification specialist, appointment scheduler, information collector, care coordinator, feedback gatherer. For my use case, customer support specialist fits the best. So I'll just click on it. So I will write the name as course query assistant and give my assistant name as Avi and I'll click on create assistant. Now you will see my assistant here, but it's not configured yet. We need to configure it for our use case. So let's configure it. First, let's go to model. We'll keep the provider as OpenAI. We'll choose the model as GPT-40 cluster. And after that, you will see the column of first message mode. Here you get three options. First, assistant speaks first. Next, assistant waits for user and last, Assistant speaks first with model generated messages. Here I'll choose the option as assistant speaks first and then you'll see a column of first message. Here you can type down the message you want your assistant to speak first. So I'll just change it as hello. Thank you for contacting analytics with their support. This is Avi. How can I assist you with your courses today? Then we need to configure our system prompt. You can use the generate method to configure your system prompt, but I have already made my own system prompt, so I'll just copy paste it. So I have added my system prompt. This system prompt configures the context, role, personality and instructions for the assistant. Next, apart from system prompt, I want my voice assistant to have an external knowledge base. And we got an option here to add our files here. But I won't recommend this method because of three reasons. First, it will be expensive because along with the system prompt, our file context will also go to the model. Second, it will make the responses slower. And third, it may also cause hallucination. So we got a better alternative. We will define a tool which will be only called when voice assistant want more information. But before that, we need to add our files to the system. So you can see the more option here. Click on it and click on files. Here you will see an option to upload files. Using this option, upload your files here. As you can see, I have already added mine. Once this is done, click on tools. And here, click on create tools and click on query. Now, we need to configure our tool. So I'll just give the tool name as knowledge 
base so we will give a description about this tool this tool will be called to gather more detailed information about the courses now once this is done we need to click on add knowledge base now we need to give the name to our knowledge base so i'll just give it as course brochure and then description or uh, i'll just write contains information about the courses in various programs now we need to choose our model so i'll go with gemini 2.0 flash because it have a good context length and then we need to select our file so we i'll just click on this one and that's it once this is done we need to configure our messages which will be spoken during different stages of tool execution so here you got three options first is default server will choose the default message second none no message will be spoken and third custom so i'll go with custom and i'll use it as please hold on and that's it once all this configuration is done we need to save our tool so you can see my tool is right here and we'll head back to assistant so now to connect our tool with our voice assistant we need to click on tools option here to configure it under the tools heading you can see an option to select tools we'll click on it and choose our tool we just created once all this is done your voice assistant is ready to talk we need to publish it to save the changes and after that i'll click on talk to assistant to have a normal phone conversation with my agent in few seconds it will start working like a normal phone Hello, conversation thank you call. for contacting analytics video support this is avi how can i assist you with our courses today hey avi can you suggest me uh, courses related to generative ai so you're interested in generative ai courses correct yes i recommend the pinnacle plus gen ai curriculum shall i share more details on the modules and benefits uh, yeah can you break down the curriculum for me of course the pinnacle plus gen ai curriculum includes prompt engineering llm fundamentals automation workflows nl multi agent orchestration projects for hands on learning do these sound intriguing uh yes uh, but can you also tell me what are the different frameworks you have used in the multi agent orchestrations for multi agent orchestration frameworks let me confirm detailed specifics through our course brochure may i fetch that info for you uh yes please multi agent orchestration in the generative ai course uses frameworks such as langraph autogen and crew ai to tackle real world challenges Does this align with your interests? Uh yeah, thank you. And that's it, Avi. You're welcome. Feel free to reach out anytime. Happy learning and good luck with generative AI. You can see when I asked for a specific detail about the course, it called the tool for more detailed information and gave me the answer in few seconds. And that's how simple it is to build a powerful voice AI agent with Wappy. Whether you are a developer, a business owner or just AI curious, Wappy makes it super accessible to create intelligent human-like voice agents. If you want to see more demos or learn how to build your own voice AI agent, hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more amazing AI content. Thank you for watching.